Welcome back to Scripting with VGZ. Uh, this tutorial will be a follow-up of the last video that I uploaded, which explains how to play background music in a game. So if you don't know some of the things that I'm going to explain in this video, please refer to the last video because that's where I'll be explaining this script right here and how this script is. That will be all in the last video. Remember, you need this script to work. So again, please check my last video. So today we're going to talk about sound. So background music is great and all, but we can also add sound into our game too, like sound effects and 3D. Since Roblox is 3D world, we can actually make 3D sounds by changing the proximity and the loudness or the volume of the sound when it's near or farther away from a part. So, uh, Sounds often originate from like a specific place or object inside the game. For example, engine of a vehicle, the battle cry of an enemy, etc. However, they can also be played as ambient sound effects like wind blowing or rain falling. That will belong in the background music, but I'm going to show you how to tweak their volume so that it, it's ambient and not blasting into your ears. So first topic we're going to talk about is 3D sounds. So 3D sounds, is um, the volume will get louder when the player gets closer to the source. And if one side of the player is closer to the sound source, the player's corresponding speaker will be louder. And third of all, the Doppler effect, which means if the source of a 3D sound is approaching the player, it will play at a higher pitch. Similarly, if it will play in lower pitch if the source is traveling away, the Doppler effect is an awesome, awesome physics representation of how like a fire truck works. When it comes closer, it will be higher. When it's going away, it will be lower. So these uh, are all uh, helping. The 3D sounds are helping with the physics of sound and engineering. So 3D sounds are pretty cool. But we uh, 3D sounds always originate from someplace. So that's what we're going to do. So we have just like a plain old part here. All right, we come over here to the Explorer. We're going to add a sound object. And then we go down. Uh, nope, we're, okay, we're at sound. So in this column, sound ID. Uh, the sound ID will be the ID that you find in the library. You can create your own sounds. Uh, they cost Robux depending on how long you want to make it. So I'm just going to use this uh, sound effect, which is just basically a basic um, like stock sound effect from Roblox. So we can preview it just to make sure it works. Let's listen to it. Okay, this seems pretty menacing. All right, it does work. Now, we will uh now we will play the game and we can see that roblox already does stuff for us and helps with the 3d adjusting of the sound so let's play the game all right there's the part let's go, come, go closer And there we go. So the if you did this correctly, the sound should be playing very loudly. And that's basically the pr the basic principle of a 3D sound here. So let's go back to the sound. We can we can actually loop it just so that it plays it over and over again so that it doesn't run out of time by the time we get to there. So let's play, let's play again. And yep. There you go. All right. Let's walk towards it. And it should it should be playing. Let me check. Uh I don't know. Uh this Okay, I found the problem. All right, 
let's let's stop here for a second. Something I forgot to tell you. Uh, you must check the playing feature for it to work. That's the reason why it did not play the first two times I did it, which was pretty stupid of me. So let's test it again. Sorry for that. Remember, check the playing for it to be playing. So there we go. There we go. I was wondering why that was like So that is very very cool. We it's not limited just to uh in fact it's not limited just to parts. We can also do ambient sounds. So ambient sounds don't really need to be attached to anything. So so and that's cool because in the last video I explained how to play background music which is essentially the same thing as an ambient sound. So instead of the ambient sound, you just use the, the background script, which is right over here, audio player. This is everything I explained in the last video. And that will be that. So we can also create GUI sounds. Yep, GUI sounds, you heard that right. So let's go create a GUI, shall we? So we will, let's go to starter GUI or GUI, depends how you say it, screen GUI, and then text button, whoops, the text button, text button, and let's add a script, local script. So. Inside the local script, just like in our last video, exactly the same thing. Replicated store. So I explained what, what this is in the last video. Um, this is getting the service, the module script that we created in the last video from replicated storage, which is this thing right here. As you can see, there's a script inside. All right. And local audio player is the audio player is gonna be required so we're gonna we're gonna basically pull uh the audio player out of replicated storage and use it in this local script so audio player boom all right now we go to audio since it's art already uh loaded this will be uh familiar if you watched my last video this is basically the same thing so we're gonna make a sound effect uh whoops so the sound effect is gonna be called just just a click you know just just like a simple click and its id will be three zero six one five five one eight one nine so that is simple click and we can leave that load now we are going to tell that this script works for the parent of the script aka the button so text button all right text button you see the parent of the script is text button so we are just going to do script dot parent all right and then do a function here local function on button activated uh just a name i come up with and if it's activated okay when we press it audio player dot play audio which is a method 
Again, watch my last video, you will know. Like so. So, this should be conventionally the end of the script, but one more thing we have to do. We have to make sure activation is what we're talking about. So, we might make sure it's actually t knowing what on button activated means. So we're just gonna bind the activated feature to on button activated. And now, once we click the button, we should be able to hear a simple click sound. So let's let's go play. There's the button right here. There we go. So this is a shorter video than the last video because the last video covered how to script um, this module script, which is very important if you want to uh, play ambient sounds, GUI sounds, and uh, GU uh, like music basically. So this module script very important. Now, um, for the 3D sounds I showed you, you can just append a sound um, event, and you can just put it in a part, and then you can uh, edit the the uh, the properties of the part so that it'll fit your needs and play what you want so this is basically just part two of sounds and music hopefully you learn something and you can use uh, the scripting to create sounds and music for your own leads and uh that's pretty much it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace